We are really high up right now. Okay, how is our sound? Okay, how is our sound? Looking good, I'd say. Camera. Probably should have muted. Oh well. Probably should have muted. Oh well. However, that. However, that. Oh, we move Starlink soon. I've done everything. need to um right we're going around again excellent anyway hello there everyone and welcome to all this is kind of just casually playing I mean yeah I've set myself the year uh, challenge of doing a load of these objectives but it really doesn't make much of a difference whether I achieve them or not this is just a casual play as we talk about the Nintendo Direct and what possibly could be coming up on it. Because, yeah, first full Direct in a more than a year, in fact. I mean, so we've had other stuff like mini directs and the partner showcases and game specific directs, and they've always been kind of hype, 
sort of hype, very good hype, depending on which event it was. But there's just something that much better about a proper good 50 minute all around direct. Plenty of announcements we could get. But first, I do have to say the city of London does look absolutely great of a night. Yes, it does indeed. Let me out! I should have been quicker or realised when I saw the girl out. Oh well, gives us a... bit of time. Just let's talk a bit more. Now, yeah. <clears throat> The one thing I most hope for, as I do with every direct, give us me Resort Paradise Nintendo. Give us that proper expansion to Wii Sports Resort that we all want. The Switch is capable of it, it's capable of open world games. You can easily make a two scale Wuhu Island and allow us to fully explore it with our means on foot. Or with climbing equipment, or a plane, or a go kart of some description. And also allow us to create. That is the key. Allow us to create. Races, archery, bowling, bowling, trick shots, sword play, events like that so down mode that was in resort, except we can set how many people are around and where it takes place. Give the community the creation to make what they want within reason using the tools that you provide because plenty of games these days seem to be pulling in some sort of creative aspect You've got Dirt 5 with its Playgrounds mode. You've got Mario games including photo modes. <coughs> There's a lot that can come from appealing to someone's creativity or need to create, want to create and even if they aren't creative themselves what does it matter? You've got a load of people making various missions and all that while various events so to say so there's plenty of content user created content that will be able to be played. It is a win-win and let's be honest the Switch deserves something like that. 
that isn't tied to a 2D Mario Maker as fun as that game is anyway just talking on this game for a bit you will note that my character looks a bit flash so he's a sex worker born in Paisley, Scotland See pause in fifteen thousand eight hundred a year. But that's not why we care about her. See so has a supercar. Look at this thing. I mean yeah, driving in uh Wattstokes is kind of terrible. But still, so he has a supercar. Oh, that's all there is that needs to be said. Right, our first target. We have something to sabotage. We've got to neutralize a VIP. And there's photo evidence. We need to collect. Let's see then. Nine hours, we're here. <clears throat> Actually, we don't have a camera, we're going to have to figure that one out. Sorry, want to park up here. Hope I'm not um, intruding. Alright. Another thing that. you could very well see is a uh, there's definitely Legend of Zelda related things gonna happen it's guaranteed pretty much After all, <coughs> there's obviously something Cleason does out of common. What that is, I couldn't possibly say. But there's something Cleason does common. Uh, 
noticed what that is though. I really would not know. After all, why would of Nintendo to miss such an opportunity. Very foolish of them indeed. Hey maybe we do get Breath of Wild sequel at the end of this year. Who knows? I don't enjoy it after all. Where is it? Can that take pictures for us? I've got no idea. But we're taking control of it anyway. The uh, fall is not to have anything Zelda related, I think. And really, This is the wrong type of drone to be able to photograph. It needs to be a specific not you. close by so that's good is it too much to ask for the uh, we've been needing talent like you cuz glad you joined the fight CTA printing yes, well, 3D printing to, to right come Sick. Serious 
تظاهر تخفن إياه بتاك تيت كي فريدي ترنزي Three D GTAs on a handheld, possibly with remastered graphics. Yes, please. I would take them instantly. We'll deal with that later. But it's a case of would they get pull onto the switch in the first place? And why would the first announcement of them be for a Nintendo Direct? Unless they were specific for the switch. After all, one of the GTA is a Switch Galling. It would be a good move to put the 3D trilogy onto the Switch. Because as boring as it would be, well, as boring as it is, the other consoles are Galling. A remaster in the form of GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced. So, Switch exclusivity for the 3D trilogy, I'd be up for. Probably many of us wouldn't, but Switch is gonna get something. Stop wasting my time, you stop. What's going on here? We're being contacted by our potential recruit. Patting them through now. And just so you know, when I said I owe you, I meant it. The best recompense you could give us would be to join the cause. Fuck it. I'm in. Who? What's going on? Now I don't know what about. Who did we just recruit from doing that? All we did was save someone and we got... I see no one new. Ah, whatever. So, yeah, TTE 3D trilogy. So it's exclusive, even if it's just for a year. Not that Nintendo would ever buy its exclusivity, it would be on Rockstar to make it so. Well, I could definitely see Rockstar doing that. Oh dear. 
and we really um We've really messed this up for ourselves now, haven't we? Oh well. Is there a possibility of Mario Kart 9? I'd hope so. It could definitely happen. could definitely happen. I mean it's not like we need that much time to market the Mario Kart is it? Two or three months. Could easily get it out for me if he announced it this direct. No, I don't need you. <sighs> what we do need is a way to get our news drone inside here. And hopefully not get it spawned before we get that photo evidence. Although if you're Wait, we're fine to go upstairs, okay then. Where's that gonna spawn? Weak as all hell, and yeah, it's too big to fit through that gap. to hopefully there's nothing we can do I 
am an idiot. And what game was I talking of? Oh yeah, Mario Kart 9. I definitely love to see it arrive in May. And you know, every possibility you can. Why not have the wrong? Child's play. This is exactly why I was recruited. Oops. There we go. What do we have, Bagley? It appears Albion has mapped out the locations of a number of dissidents in the city. I doubt they're um, planning their Christmas right. madness. I'll make sure someone sends a warning. Cause I just come in here like that. Oh well, anyway. Gotta stop keep saying anyway. News of other things. No Pokemon, something Zelda related. But what? Zelda related. If not Breath of the Wild sequel tease for the end of the year. Well there's always a load of port of HD remasters from games Twilight Princess, Wind Waker they could even remaster the 3DS A Corner of Time and Mozilla's Mask games and pull them into one bundle Not much chance of that happening, I know, but still. It's a possibility. Obviously Smash Ultimate uh, character has been confirmed to be revealed there. But who is that character going to be? Who indeed? have much of an answer.
That was easy. This is strange. The manifest for the shipment you just destroyed mentioned an internment facility in the borough, but not one I've heard of. Well, they'll just have to do without the rubber hoses and black masks for a while. <laughs> Something I would also like to see, but I know <clears throat> it probably would never happen. New Advance Wars, anyone? New F Zero, anyone? Both of those, they're never gonna happen, are they? Not in a million years. I would absolutely love both to be on the switch. But the likelihood of it happening is slim. So all we can do is hope. Hope that yes. She's nearby. We can eventually target spotted. Get herself. Hold on, is that good? That's the VIP. Do we even have anything that can... Uh, Go up against that. Who are you recommending us? The profile lists them as a drone expert. Now that's a skill set. Drone expert. If only. Is this all I think it is? Oh, we can call other drones now from this thing. We'll get a cargo drone. And up we go. Careful, does it? We're not doing anything to it.
That thing is insane. I'm just leaving. get a hacker to just obliterate it. Should hopefully be able to hack that thing. Excellent. The more of us we are, the stronger we are. Welcome to Delta. Brilliant. Finally found my people. Great. Oh, it was a. Uh, Underground station close by. This isn't how I remember this place. So include I'm hoping some third party stuff. And for me that would involve two things. Two of my cores, Star Wars and Sonic the Hedgehog. Again, seems unlikely for Sonic the Hedgehog to get an announcement. At an intended direct. Especially if it's not a... Uh, Well, you know. Target spotted. Oh, we can't. Oh, quick. Let's hear it. That 
drone was assigned to an Albion detention center somewhere in the borough. According to what I could pass, it was used to interrogate high-value local insurgents. This is one less weapon in their arsenal. Black hole of Battersea, missing started. Brilliant. We've hit all our Albion targets in Nine Elms. It's having an effect. Someone's had the courage to rise up and contact us. Meet them at Battersea. I'm going. So we've got a mission to do and then this will become a defined state. Which is good. Speaking of advanced wars, would it be worth it doing advanced wars or maybe battalion wars instead? I have got more uh, God damn, I've lost word. Oh, hello. That's one of our operatives. Lovely. Anyway, yeah, we've got more investment in advanced wars. But Italian wars hasn't been seen since the Wii. You know, would it not be wise to give battalion wars another chance? Especially with the power of the sweats. You could do a lot more epic battles. I'd love to see that. I never thought. I put it out there hoping. But you actually showed up. Brilliant. You really lit a fire in Nine Elms. Cheers. But it's up to you to keep the fire going. How can we help? There's something fucking wretched going on in the old power plant under the mall. I noticed these Albion boats coming into the docks, right? So I decided to have a look-see. Snuck down there. It was like one of them spy movies about secret prisons in the Middle East. I watched a boat come in, and some Albion goons dragged two people off it, handcuffed, and with black bags on their heads. Oh, you've got a rescue mission by the sound of it. There's more. I recognize one of the hooded blokes by his clothes. An anti-Albion activist. Real guerrilla type. Understand? It's a black soy. They turned a fucking public service into a black soy. Exactly. Dead sec. You have to help these people. Put an end to whatever's going on down there. I'll help spread the word. Let's go. Doesn't seem smart to me to walk right in there with my face hanging out. There's an abandoned section of the power plant that's accessible. I've browsed the available Battersea blueprints and extrapolated the most likely location of this Albion prison. You should be able to access it through the power plant. I'm going. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, we need to get down there. We need to get further on down. I will look over that.
Well, that was a bit unfortunate. But we're in. Probably gonna want to concentrate on. As funny as it is to watch you explore by frottage, I don't think it's working. Well, that much is obvious. Someone stashed a news drone here. You could use that to help you navigate the power plant. Yeah, it's very dark in here. A secret Albion prison for political dissidents right under our noses? The people of Nine Elms won't stand for that. I know they'll rise up, but not until we show them. And freeing the people being held in that old power plant will show them. <laughs> Fucking right. Disable the default for just a press. It's definitely a cool bill of a talent, though. With a hacker, everything's faster. In terms of hacking. Well, 
make this just lovely. The flask doesn't do anything. It's a good thing that there's no one around here. Because having to manage that light and combat would be a pain, honestly. Okay, that went better than I expected it to. Just in case anything ah. complete year what? Fun. I assume once they unlock they stay unlocked so to disappear for good. That's so horrible. They're torturing information out of them. 
Let's just get them out. They've suffered enough, don't you think? The control console will open all the cells and turn on the lights. That should allow the detainees to escape. Okay, so this console is... Here's the game guard. Can we do a silent takedown? Yes, we can. has become defiant. Beautiful. I'm so glad you were able to help those people and expose that site. Albion won't be able to do that to anyone else. Well done, Tim. We did it. Nine Elms is ready to stand with you all. Albion's influence on this borough is over. Let's go to the next place then and talk more now about that direct. That'll put the entire borough on notice. The first hand accounts from the people who were in there will certainly fire up Nine Elms. Job well done. Hmm. said about Mario Kart 9 but maybe some other racing game that would be fun especially if we did get something like what is it Midtown Madness that's it Midtown Madness on the Switch, so a game similar to it. Or even if you really want to get down to it. Midnight Club. even put breakfast on a switch. I mean I'd, I'd have no use for it but I'm so someone I didn't enjoy it. And the more people that get to enjoy breakfast the better. Because that's a great game. No! no. Close one.
but I thought it was Just gotta go around picking up tech points so that we can use some of these things. You know, we've got most of the hacks. Kind, well, sort of, I guess you could say. It looks kind of surprising that they haven't added in any more upgrades yet, but then they haven't really added not seem a way of anything to the game yet that's coming soon a form of an ordinary person would not survive <laughs> racing games again We've got quite a bit of toys in that regard. But the more the better, as I always say. Of course. More doesn't necessarily equal better, but in certain cases it does. When it comes to toys, certain games are always going to be better, but the toys is always good. I said Sonic the Hedgehog would probably never get seen at a uh, Jesus Christ, what is that thing? direct unless it was another Nintendo exclusive and then it kind of stopped. Star Wars then because we need more classic games on the Switch. And I'm pretty certain they're um That was weird. Okay, we can't get it through there. But we can get it through there. Six Star Wars games on the Switch. I'm pretty sure there was a rumor or something the last bio working on another one. I'm pretty sure it said Republic Commando. Again, it's another one I'd be interested in. I mean, I've already played it. 
but I've kind of bought every single game that S Player have ported to the Switch. And Republic Commando. Let's just say I've got a soft spot for the series, even if I haven't played much of the game. And so the game on Switch would definitely get me to play through it all. Anyway, if there's that photo evidence thing, we kind of... need a um someone who can use photos eh news drones eh then again what were we able to call out from those things Says Riot, CT, Counter Terrorism, <coughs> or Cargo. Hmm. Let's just quickly spend some tech points so I can grab that. Does it have a camera on it? We can go into the first person with it, but we can't. Right. So it has to specifically be a news drone. <coughs> So peeps. I don't know, close enough that I don't really need to bother with Yeah I am. Um we can take a moped and drive a wrong way down the road. access to something that could take photos but this is a way the game was built so that certain people would be useful This thing can't take photos, can it? No. Hmm. Back to our team member who had a Oh, you're close by anyway. Excellent. Nintendo. Someone else slept off work, and now it's your turn. Yes, fine. Let's 
say. They would. Oh, I've gone off track. Star Wars. So yeah, I would definitely enjoy a Republic Commando. I mean, I would definitely enjoy Republic Commando on Switch. Yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. Seems the two classic ones. Like I mean, I've definitely I'm advocated sure this as well. Know, A Star Wars Battlefront collects of Rings 4, 3, 4 of original games. The two pandemic ones and the two rebellion ones that were only on the PSP. We, um, don't talk about the DS game by End Space. That definitely was not Battlefront. In any way possible. But that collection would bring the games together. into one collection and that's all there is to it really I mean you'd have to remaster the PSP game so they looked better on the Switch than a PSP screen But if you're going to do a remaster, you may as well go for Whole Hog and go remake to allow heroes in Battlefront 1, Mods, Renegade and Elite Squadron together. And also allow all maps from Renegade, except now that wouldn't work. Well, it was just a thought. But you could definitely allow if you were to remake stuff. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Still going the wrong way. Because Let's face it, EA might have control of the Battlefront franchise and their games have been good but there's no chance of them ever getting onto the Switch so we should 
be allowed to get a sweat bow front, right? And said sweat bow front. Any drones passing to buy? Do we have the ability to call a call a riot drone? And then swap to said right moon. Do we have to destroy that? Or do we have to get up there and do something with it? Disrupting it by uh, heading up there. Now that's a black canvas if I ever saw them. Take that dreary city. Uh, hey, our cargo drone is uh, come here. That was so many things that could be in a direct after all. So many things. Even third party games, you know, we could get Monster Hunter Rise featured and a second demo that could be admittedly a very brief section. Unstory of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. There's a load. Really? And it's 50 minutes. That's depending on how it goes. A lot of games that you could get in there. And I do mean a lot. Unless you're going to spend like 10 minutes on a single game. And that game Bella would not be smash. Because for as much as I like the series, 
it does get annoying when they focus predominantly on it. Drone can only go this high, and yet we gotta get up there. Get up there. Is a elevator a lift? Actually, we do have a hack to be able to They just broke their own um, turret for me, so thank you for that. stuck man negative no sign of suspect okay. <laughs> I've lost the target. I'm terminating the search. 
Fall back. Over. Let's not break this one.
So we're just critically into the load of people for no reason. Lovely. Very good. This could use some dead sec decor. Just what this place needs. Not just anyone could heroically vandalize a hospital, but you're not just anyone, are you? The people of Lambeth are sure to love this. Well done. We've taken care of every Albion target we had in Lambeth. Brilliant. The people have had enough of Albion and are ready to show it. One brave soul has asked to meet to discuss how to rally the borough. Yep, halfway along the bridge. And since the missing is called Wheels in Motion, I suspect it has something to do with London Eye. One of them dead sick types been giving Albion a pain, right? People in the borough have noticed. That's why I rang you. Figured you'd be interested in giving them one more good swift kick in the bollocks. Go on. Them Albion twats have turned one of the city's landmarks into a fucking propaganda machine, and it ain't sitting well with the natives. Yep. The eye, well, it's a symbol right. of London, isn't it? A symbol for the people. Public, accessible, in the heart of London. But Albion have stamped their mark on the bloody thing. The only thing we see when we look at it now is a symbol of our oppression. Shows it plain to the world too. 
bloody drain on the people's morale. We've dismantled other Albion propaganda sites before. We'll take it from here. Oh, so this, you have um, to knock out some electronic security first. And for that, you'll need cutscene to Cutscene seems to be in two minds about what time of day it's meant to be. It's clearing the defences on the barge first, of course. But that's a doddle for the likes of you, right? I'll get it done. You know. Completely dark. Cityscape. But the people in it looked like they were in the day. Anyway, let's go to the London Eye. Except we're not going to the London Eye. We're going to somewhere in the River Thames. Okay then. Time to grab a boot. Gallon over Well, this is exciting. The console on this barge is a control hub for prototype counter-terrorism drones. You can use one to destroy electronic security measures on the wheel. In the area, this is investigating disturbance. Target sighted. Don't want to loiter around here. Violence against Albion drones is a criminal offense. These are the only prototype CT drones I've seen, so have fun with these while they last. And I can't imagine Albion will just let you fuck about with their most expensive toys, so be ready for some kind of response. You're putting on quite a show. Look at them sparks fly. That's 
good as Guy Fawkes night that is. Destroy the remaining electronic security system, and you'll be able to scrap this propaganda. Drones to apprehend the suspect. That's the last time we'll be seeing that method on the London Eye. Lambeth is now defiant. Brilliant. But it's our landmark. It will resonate with people to see that Albion can't just mark something as theirs and own it. You just said a mouthful, and I doubt the borough would have woke up without you giving us the kick up the arse we needed. Thanks, Dead Set. <sighs> this is going to ignite the people's hopes in Lambeth, team. Albion's going to find it impossible to keep this borough under control. That's a feather in our cap. So we have a riot on the Albion Propaganda 3 London Eye. Not that the experience will be any different, but we can at least take a ride. See a trip to London again. And I'd kind of hope to also get on the London Eye for real.
Anyway, once again, I gotta keep stop saying getting away. I think two defiant states is enough to um, end the stream. Third, quickly done. Thank you to everyone who has tuned in and on Thursday I will be doing Farming Simulator, just a little talent on that that I've been thinking of. On the Friday over on the DRKDK channel I'll be playing some GTA 5 online and then Saturday I'll be finishing up Bowser's Fury 100% completion so it's definitely a good week especially with that Nintendo Direct tomorrow in 24 hours time so until next time, bye for now. Although I've said that a bit too early because we're still on the London Nine. And we, um, Uh, kind of going to into stream as we walk out of it. Not long now. Definitely not long now. Drone fighting was fun in that last lesson. I enjoyed that very much. And the game as a whole is definitely fun. If in Sort bursts. Now we're almost down to the ground. So this is where I now say thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now.